Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. So, we have got a lot of things to cover in this chapter. That means I will be moving relatively quickly. So, let's add a cube and um, we will start um, we'll start modeling this thing. We'll start changing how it is here from the beginning. So we will add the grot shading lines and that doesn't do anything to the cube. That only adds, that only changes the way we look at our scene. So we can now see our lines. So I've added three lines on each side of the thing. As you may remember from the first chapter, um, this is right now, this is an object. So what we want to do is, as you can see, this is, this is just an object. It's just a cube right now. It's called a cube and it has this object right here. We want to make this into polygons, lines and points. So we can do that by right clicking and clicking this button called make editable. And now this is an editable object. If you control C, there's another way of doing it. Just clicking on it and pressing C and that will make it into an editable object. So that didn't change much when, when you just look at the object. But if you do, let's say the scale, you're able to now scale it in this direction, you're able to scale it in all these different directions, do all sorts of stuff. If we click on this guy, press E and then move him to the side, if we just add a cube, then you'll be able to see the difference because this cube has the cube icon and this other guy over here has the editable object icon. So if we were to press T on this guy, try and scale him on one axis, you can see I'm only moving the red axis, it scales up and down. But this guy over here, he scales to the sides. And that's because this guy is an editable object. This guy isn't. Let's delete that cube. Move him back to the middle. You can do that by just right clicking over here and it will jump to zero. So right now, if we look here to the side, we are in the object mode. And um, remember that an object like this consists of it only consists of vertices. That's basically what it is. It consists consists of vertices, and each vertice sits in like um, anywhere that these lines uh, connect. And then there are also some lines, but those lines they're like determined. So there's a line that goes from this vertice vertice to that vertice that vertice to that vertice. So all these vertices, as they're called, they make up this whole object. And then there's also something called surfaces. Each of these squares are a surface. And a surface is basically a plane that's being made between some points. So as you can see, if you've got three or more points, you're going to be able to make a surface between those points. And, um, well, a square that consists of just four vertices that has been put together to a square. Let's try and um, go into the sub object mode. I think that's what it's called. So if you go over here, we are now, right now at the model or the object uh, mode. If we go down here and maybe press this guy, we will see the point mode. That means that we are now able to see all the vertices. So you can see there's a little vertice right there. We can click on that guy. Sorry. We just click on him and we will get this gizmo. We can start moving it around like this. And as you can see, we can now start shaping this square into anything that we want. So right now I'm just using, uh, I'm just clicking on these vertices to select them. And in my opinion, that's a pretty easy way of selecting vertices. If we want to, um, let's say, select a whole row, 
you can see we can't just click and drag we have to choose another pick um, option so you can choose these different selection tools you see we have got the live selection tool the rectangle selection tool the lasso and polygon selection tool you're almost only going to be using the live selection tool and the rectangle selection tool so let's just pick the live selection tool uh, the shortcut is nine um, in my opinion it's a terrible shortcut having to press nine moving your hand all across the show the keyboard but well that's how it is so we've got, now got this little box sorry this little ring and we can start click and dragging so you can see now I just dragged across across all these points and I'm able to move them around I can click and drag across the middle ones move those up like that let's just pick these guys over here move those up as well and uh, yeah we can also try the other selection tool so press what is it uh, zero oh. if you press zero you get the uh, this uh, rectangle section tool if you press nine you get the live selection eight for the lasso and um, oh. that's basically the ones you need you only need to know nine and zero so if you use this um, selection the rectangle section tool you can basically click and track like this and uh, it's very easy for like selecting a row you can just do like that and you'll have the whole row selected you can select the whole side like that you can use control and shift to select more or less so if it's like this hold shift and select down here I can like select individual points like this I can move around and it will stay selected select this shit down here sorry I can check these points down here and uh, scale them and uh, yeah um, so that's basically how you can select uh, points press 9 if I were to click on my oh sorry click on my middle mouse button and then drag to the right I can change the size of uh, this selection brush as it actually is so I can click and drag and select some more at once so we have actually um, modified this cube quite a lot right now and uh, yeah Um, let's delete this cube and um, start doing something else so let's try let's let's try to take um, let's now take a look at um thank you for watching Etiopedia world stay tuned for more videos